Well, there are different aspects to it. So uh, from a people perspective, I would say that the market is very well equipped to deal with it. We've got strong industry bodies who are heavily involved in ensuring that the market does what it needs to, to get prepared. From a technology point of view, a lot of the systems that participants use are slightly archaic. So I think there's a lot of, a lot of technology requirements which counterparties are going to have to take on board to deal with the complexity that comes with SFTR. There are 153 fields. A lot of those fields, possibly 35 to 40% of those are not currently in source systems or not readily available. So there's going to be upgrades to source systems to start off with. Uh, beyond that, there's going to be a significant amount of enrichment required as well. So it's, it's a mix. From a technological point of view, I'd say not particularly well equipped to deal with SFTR, but from a people point of view, very well equipped and the intention is there. Yes, I do. I think they, they, they're well aware of the challenges that SFTR poses. It's a, uh, it's a market which, ha which hasn't had this challenge. So it's, it's brand new. They've seen other business areas deal with regulation. So they've had some level of, of exposure to regulation. But this, this certainly is brand new to securities finance markets. And certainly the meetings we're having with, with our customers is that there is a lot of concern. We're spending a lot of time on doing gap analysis and getting quite flustered around issues like, well, you know, how are we going to populate this field? How are we going to populate that field? There's a mix, right? Some of the bigger institutions are further down the line. Some of the smaller institutions have got MIFID II out the way first. So they are perhaps a little bit behind the curve. And they don't necessarily have the technology to deal with all the complexity which comes with SFTR. And they don't necessarily have the budget either. But it's, uh, it's important that they get their technology in place, they're going to have to spend now. And if they spend wisely, they can get themselves a competitive advantage. Deal with SFTR, but beyond SFTR itself, actually become a stronger trading counterparty. I think there'll be a profound change in the way the market deals as a result of SFTR. It's, a, uh, it's been a very manual process for, for many banks over the years. I think technology is going to have to play a massive part in it. So no doubt banks will either build or, or buy solutions that help them within their technological space. I also think factors like counterparty selection are going to become even more, even more important, right? So counterparty selection is, is, has narrowed essentially as, uh, as other regulations have come into play and you've had to look at in the old days, you'd look at credit and risk factors, for example. Now you're looking at RWA and HQLA, etc. Now, I think from a reporting perspective, it's going to be very, very important to deal with counterparties that report responsibly and also have a good handle on their life cycle events and everything that surrounds the process. Because in a dual-sided reporting uh, regulation like SFTR, you really are only as good as your counterparty. So if your counterparty that you're dealing with is sloppy when it comes to reporting, then operationally it's going to be, it's going to be a challenge to manage that. So I can, see a, uh, I can see a narrowing of counterparties, the stronger counterparties essentially trading with each other, and some of the weaker counterparties when it comes to the reporting space and managing the operational workflow might find it more difficult to find trading partners essentially. So Broadridge supply a range of solutions. Obviously, Foresight has been in the market a long time. It's a securities finance and collateral management solution. Broadridge recently bought message automation in, in March of last year, and we are regulatory reporting specialists. We have a multi-jurisdictional solution, which we're extending to include SFTR, and will continue ex to extend to include all other securities finance regulations as they roll out across the globe. We also have a CCP reports aggregator, which is very useful when it comes to SFTR because it's relevant when it comes to all the margin data, which is required. We have strong data lineage functionality. We have dashboards which sit over the top, which gives operation staff really good visibility over the entire process, all the workflow, which means that they can deal with all the exceptions. They can categorize those exceptions. They can uh, assign those exceptions to be properly handled by the right areas. So we have a huge 
huge part to play in securities finance market and we have a lot to offer.